So I'm gonna play Stumpin' Jacks, whatever you like. How's the morning been, okay? Yeah. Yeah, good. We have a new president tomorrow. Oh my gosh. I'm breaking out the Bloody Marys and Mimosas in the morning. I always, <laughs> I gotta be careful because I never know if there's anybody in class who secretly voted for Trump. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it's pretty small. I and doubt sometimes, it. It's, it's sometimes I have guesses. <laughs> but, uh, I can't help it. I think this is like one of the few, it's like one of the few times in my life I'm like really like this this one's pretty obvious. Like yeah. I've never I've never taught politics, you know, it's never good to do it at times. But I'm like, this is just <laughs> this is just too easy of a choice. I know. It's <laughs> it's yeah. Let's go windmills. It seems less likely that you'll offend someone because the chances are Yeah. I but, will say, I will say, you know, without naming names, I, you know, in the beginning, I definitely, I think I had a few guys that voted for Trump because they saw their portfolios start to increase, you know, oh, yeah. making some money. Yeah. And, uh, but I think the other side of it just became too much. And yeah. Anyway. Yes, it's exciting. I know, right? Whew. People are getting vaccinated. There's a new president. There's some some good energy, I think. Yeah. Finally, finally flowing. Let's go. Squat in your chest. I know. You got to. I like came in and listened to uh, Martin Luther King Jr.'s "I Have a Dream" speech yesterday. Oh, you did. You know. This is terrible, but I thought during his speech, he, he his line was let fe let freedom reign, like R A I N. I didn't realize it was ring. I don't know why uh -oh. I didn't know that. It's all you know. He uses ring all the time. I thought it was rain. Oh, funny. Uh. Anyway, I actually was uh, reading the subtitles while he's giving the speech because I wanted. I was like, was there anything else that I misinterpreted? <laughs> Let's go left yeah. or right here in those lateral lunges. Anyway, it's only like a six minute speech. You know, it's not very long. Oh, really? Um, yeah, if you YouTube it, it's like six and a half minutes. It's, it's not very long. Wait, so you came into your studio yesterday and just did that for yourself first thing? Oh, no, no. I did it with, with Camden at home. Oh. Because they've been learning about uh, Martin Luther King the last week or two. Yeah. Um, he calls him King Arthur because he's so used oh, to like yeah. Robin Hood. <laughs> that is so funny. I know King Arthur, King Arthur Day. Um, but it's so sad for kids to learn that they killed him. Well, and that's what he says. He goes, "He got shot," you know. Then you're you're you know you're trying to explain to him, you know, that whole situation. Let's go uh, rotations here. Um, it's like it's like. It just must seem so, because in, in Camden's world, only the bad guys kind of right. get, That's get right. shot and whatever. Yep. No, it's true, you know, and um, of course he watched a little bit of the footage of the, you know, Capitol building or everything like that. Oh, yeah. He, you know, he didn't understand it, He you know, switch directions the other way. I mean, you know, you realize as an adult when you have kids, you know, explaining some of this stuff can be can be yeah. tricky sometimes. But yeah, yeah. Let's go arms, arm circles. That little question, why? After everything you say. Yeah. Right. It's like, why did they shoot him? Yeah. You know, kids get to see. He doesn't get a lot of it, but you know the 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 shows and movies that he does get to watch, and it's all it's happy, it's happy endings, and yeah, you know, <laughs> you have the real life <laughs> shows yeah. and news and stuff, big circles. So yeah, he you know he he gets it pretty good for being five, but it's still hard to let him know this is the way the real world is. 
Yeah. Backwards. And big circles backwards. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Last one is to get a nice little quad stretch. We'll just hold that for about 15, 20 seconds, and we'll go here. Did you wake up from the wind last night? Oh, man. It really was moving. Yeah. Um. I have a little like six, seven foot tree here at the studio that actually blew over and I have in a pretty heavy pot. I mean, right. Uh, so I had to clean that up this morning on switch. Did uh, the pot break? No, I mean, luckily it didn't, but um, it's pretty heavy. I was, I mean, I was like, wow, the wind actually could blow this over. So I kind of bungeed it, but yeah, I don't know if I told you the, the tents I originally had, <laughs> they, they, you know, a few weeks ago, they got blown over and bent. So I got to be careful on the windy days. I got to make sure it's not too bad. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to go ahead and get in that bear pose position. I want to do some laterals. We're going to go one, two, three, and then I want two shoulder taps, and then we're going to go to the other side, staying in kind of that bear pose. So those knees are slightly bent. One, two, three, two shoulder taps back over. We'll go about a minute here. Did you guys have anything blown over? No, not really. Yeah, yeah. Twenty seconds. And last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna come on up. I want a little back lunge on the right side. As you come up, you can do a little skip or a little hop. We're just going to do a little skip here. We go back. We can pause for a second. Up. Just kind of driving that knee through back. We'll skip up. Back pause. Let's go about 30, 40 seconds aside. Like I said, just adding a little hop, skip. Hop, skip, and a jump as you come up. 40 seconds aside. Sadie pooped in the potty last night, MJ. Oh, what a celebration that must have been. Oh, man, it was like 7 o'clock at night. We have the, like, the little, little potty set up, you know, near the bathroom. Yeah. It was a big deal. I was taking photos. <laughs> oh, my God, that's so cute. She turns, she turns two next month, so I was like, Kenan was he was three by the time you started doing that. Same with Pip. She was really early. Man, maybe it's girls or... Yeah. You know, Second kid. She definitely is a lot cleaner baby. She likes being clean. Yep. So I'm not surprised. Good switch. Other side. Did she decide she wanted to try it? Well, so she's been peeing in the potty a few times. Not every time. Yeah. And um, and yeah, we've just, you know, we just talk about it all the time with her. And so we were just, Mar was in the kitchen. She just went over to it and she just got up and she just said, pooped in the potty. And just oh like, was like, ah! Oh my God. So anyway, I know she the little it, thing. She did it on her own. I know. And so Mar's Mar like, come here, I gotta wipe you still. But anyway, uh, yeah. So That's I'm cute. sure it's not gonna happen every time, but now at least we're in the beginning stages. Maybe it's a month or two where she can start right. to to do this. So three, two, and one. Let's grab a, a weight, anything, anything you want to use. We're going to go left to right in those curtsy lunges now. Wait, 
when Pip did it before the age of two, I just thought it was a fluke. I was like, oh, well, you know, like you said, like this is the beginning. Yeah. It'll take some time. She never looked back. Really? Yeah, that was it. Yeah, I hope, oh, I hope that's the case. <laughs> you're, giving, you're starting to make me feel a lot better because I was thinking, oh, you know, maybe it'll be at least another month or two. But I, mean, I, was, I was, yeah. But for some reason, Pip like never went back. That's awesome. That is amazing. Because I was thinking, oh, this is just, you know, this is a one-off. Yeah. I mean, Cannon would, would, that kid was sitting his own poop for like a couple hours. I mean, Sadie will tell you when she's ready, yeah. like she's done and she's ready to be changed. So like I said, she just likes me a little more clean than my son. Yeah. He doesn't want to take the time out. <laughs> that was Finn's thing. He's like, I'm busy. Well, you know, <laughs> actually, this is terrible, but like a few months ago, that happened to Cannon. He was like in the middle of a Lego project. Yeah. He had a poop and he went inside the bathroom door, but I guess he couldn't hold me anymore. And like it was like all over the floor. And we had to clean up upstairs. I mean, this is pretty rare. But yeah. he said the same thing to us. He's like, I was I was so busy, I didn't want to leave. He was in like tears, like oh my buddy is like, just you can come back to it, it's not gonna go anywhere anyway. Right. Yeah. Poor kid. Um that's good. Let's put that down. So let's go into our sprawls. You can use your, uh, you can use anything you want side of a couch or just the ground. We're just going to kick it out. Stand up in between. But anyway, yeah, I, I hope that's the case. That would be awesome to be done with diapers here soon. Yep. Thirty seconds. And fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, all right, we're gonna take that weight, that single dumbbell you have, rotation to press, rotation to press. And that core twist, feet up or down, rotation to overhead press. I mean, we're still working on Camden to try to get that straight stream. <laughs> oh, going. my God. <laughs> I, can't, I don't have anything good to report there. <laughs> I'm like, just go into the shower and close the door. Just, oh, my God. You do like a 360. <laughs> that is Finn. Oh, my God. <laughs> Twenty seconds. <sighs> In ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well, we can keep that weight. Let's go ahead and just relax it here, right? We're gonna go up and down. With those single leg 
Pelvic raises. Let's let that right leg up. And switch, other leg. Last 15. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna go to a side plank, but we're gonna kind of add that little rotation. We're gonna come in and then we're gonna open it up here. We're gonna rotate inside and then pull that arm back, a little stretch back. Fifteen seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and switch. Other side. And last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one. All right, let's come on up. We'll do a little little cardio and do some front to back kind of quick runs or steps. So two or three steps forward, kind of touching down, right? Two or three steps back, touching down. We're just going to alternate hands here. So just a few forward, a few back, three to four. I don't know, whatever room you have. Keep going, front to back runs, 30 more seconds. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. A little yoga. We're gonna stretch that arms forward, right leg back. And let's just hold it out here. Give me 20, 30 seconds.
Keep hold. Ten seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Let's go ahead and switch it up. Other side. And last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna take that single dumbbell. I wanna go ahead and come on down into that hip hinge or deadlift to that curl to overhead press, okay? What size weight do you have, MJ? Eight, 10, what do you have? At 12. Do a 12, okay. Is the overhead press okay? Yeah. Okay, so let's do 10 aside. I'll make it easy on you. Give me 10 aside here. We'll do that dead, deadlift to curl to overhead press. We're 10 aside. Oh, I've, I've not been counting. <laughs> it's okay. Come, come close. Ten aside. I've completely forgot. <clears throat> you know, I know. I know. I never do rep count usually during these Zoom classes because it's usually too hard to keep track of everyone's stuff. So, but it's just you and me. <laughs> right, a nice little switch because I don't know. Throw, throw a curveball. Just come close. Is that is that dinging you or me, MJ? That's me. Oh, it's okay. I want to make sure, like. <laughs> but I thought it might be me, like something I left in the office. I'm on this um, high school text thread. Oh, <laughs> and there's like like 12 or 15 of my high school friends. Um, oh, that... Every time someone has a birthday. Oh, gotcha. It's like all this like chatter. Oh, that's so funny. So you'll laugh. Uh, I'm on this thread called Men's Locker Room. Oh it's, my like, God. it's like six guys and you can only imagine what goes through there. Yeah. Um, usually it's a lot of sports, but there's definitely some things that. From high school? No, it's both my brothers and then a couple of our just close friends in general, like two or yeah. three guys. We just talk about anything, everything. <laughs> Get out to your tennis side. We'll grab some water and then we're gonna head back to the top. But, but my wife always says, like, when she hear my phone ding, she knows when it's, like, outside of work. She's like, men's locker room, yeah. huh? <laughs> there might be more than 15 on this thread. Because, like, once it gets chattering, it gets really chattery. Uh, I'll show you something funny. See if you can actually see it on your screen. See if you can actually see if you can read this or not. Is it backwards? Can Cover you your it? mouth when you cough. Oh, I can't. Wait, what's the dinosaur <laughs> saying? I oh, I can't reach. He goes, I, he goes, excuse my language. He's like, I fucking can't. <laughs> oh my god, that is really funny. <laughs> You're a little short -hearted. Anyway, those are the types of things that come up. That's what we send out <laughs> to each other. Okay water <laughs> that's your that's your post of the day yeah it's all these happy birthday texts oh nice and gifts and my goodness i'm like okay 
We're done. Do they all do they all live around here? No one does. <laughs> it's just you. Just me. And oh. like, you know, they, they live all over the country. It's great. I think I think it's funny. Most of my high school friends moved away, even though I know a lot of like people that I wasn't close to stayed in Nebraska. But I think all our whole crew pretty much moved away. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think I don't think very many people are together. <clears throat> I talked to one of my friends the other night for like two hours <clears throat> as I was walking the dog. Oh my gosh. I know that was a good catch up. Yeah, right? Or maybe not two hours, probably one hour. Yeah, that's a good catch up. That doesn't happen very often. That happens like, not even once a year does that happen. Uh, it's, it's good to do. And obviously with COVID, you know, we're looking for people to <laughs> catch up with, talk to. All righty. Back to the top, we'll do those three bear pose, lateral upper body shuffles into those shoulder taps. When's your birthday, MJ? September 10th. Oh, okay. Yours is in, in spring? No, mine's, Dece mine's December. Oh, that's right, winter. Yeah, and then um, Mars, January 5th. We're, we're right around Christmas. And the rest are, actually more so her family is all like springtime. And, and yeah. the kids, Sadie's coming up next month. Then we get like her mom and dad and Camden. Uh, my family's all fall. There's a lot oh, of fall. Really? August, October, yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of spring, winter and spring birthdays in my family. Starting on January 1st, mm. my nephew. Yeah. Um, you'll laugh, a lot of the, you know, birthdays for myself and my friends, it's all based upon military. So, like, <laughs> military guys coming back off a of leave, my dad coming back off, like, uh, being, they call it TDY, being gone for a number of months, but a lot of... The military babies when Omaha is all dads coming back from different things. Oh my God. That's so. funny. All right, that's good. Let's go ahead. We're going to go back to that back lunge to drive a knee. My mom would joke because, yeah, you know, a lot of the the moms, military moms, would all be having kids at the same time. That is so funny. At least close to it, yeah. Did you live at a base? We lived near the base. We didn't live on base. Uh, we were very close to doing it. Um, my dad, when we were in Nebraska, my dad actually got transferred to Illinois, which we would have lived on base. We were right towards high school. Yeah. Not to get too much to the personal side, but we stayed. We stayed in Nebraska. My dad was supposed to go there for like a year, but he ended up going for like two or three years. My parents got divorced after that. Anyway, it was kind of a crazy ordeal. Yeah. But we would have, if we would have moved, go and switch legs, um, we would have been on base. My dad was a lieutenant colonel. I mean, his next steps in those five to 10 years would have been like Colonel and on, and we would have been base kids. Although we would have been in college too, going off to college. So really my mom would have been right. on base. I work with a woman who grew up on military bases. Does she like it? I mean, it's the only thing she knew, but she, uh, yeah, that's good. She doesn't have like, old friends, you know, really? Yeah. Because she moved so much. Yeah, I mean, the we we moved a lot in the beginning. I was born in Texas. We were in Southern California. And then when I was in second grade, that's when we moved to Nebraska. And then I was there through 
high school. Like I said, when I was a sophomore, we could have gone to Illinois. It's my dad left, but a lot more little. Yeah. So let's go 30 more seconds in those goblet lateral lunges. Uh, but we went on base a bunch. I mean, we would go to the commissary. Yeah. Um, get clothes. A lot of the bases had really cool fitness centers. In Nebraska, we had the Warrior Fitness Center, which was like a humongous airplane hangar. It had four basketball courts, two soccer fields. Like, this is all indoor. Oh, my uh, God. So it was great during the wintertime because you would go to the Warrior Fitness Center. And actually, if you're military, you could bring a non-military friend. So we actually brought like our entire soccer team there because half were military so oh it was my cool. God. so we did we did a lot of that because it was heated it was nice um let's go to the sprawls um so yeah that was like the big that was the big hangout believe it or not well i actually um practiced at a military base um when i was on the diving team because that was the only pool that had three meter diving board. Oh uh, yeah. So we would always be in there with like all the uh, army guys. <laughs> I so I learned to swim on the military base. A um, lot of chlorine. <laughs> my yes. eyes were my eyes were so red. But <laughs> um, I don't think those military guys actually measured how much chlorine they're putting in, but. Uh, yeah, we we learned from like a like an ex Navy SEAL. <laughs> What's our swimming Hi. swimming lesson? I guess that's good and bad. That's so funny though. Twenty seconds left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go back to that core twist, the overhead press, that seated position. Feet up or down. And let's go about a minute here. My mom loves shopping on base because everything's tax free. And oh, so yeah. we did a lot of reason why we did a lot of that BMX. And my dad was at Travis Air Force Base for a while. He's he moved away back to the Midwest, but he was there for a while. Where's that? Um, it's, it's up towards, uh, like Fairfield, Vacaville oh, okay. area. Um, he was a, um, flight instructor for refueling planes. Uh, oh. used to be, used to be KC 10s. I think it's C like 135s, but they do most of their instruction inside a, a simulator, like a $20 million military simulator so you're inside a cockpit that's like on hydraulics i mean it's basically like a disneyland ride and then you gain the pilots gain most of their hours through the simulator because it's cheaper for the governments yeah. obviously a lot safer and then eventually they they get to the real plane so interesting yeah but that was a lot of his did you career. go in it, that cockpit yeah i did a couple times it was really cool i mean it's it has Google Maps that, that's brought up. You can go anywhere in the world you want to. Yeah. Um, let's go back to the single leg pelvic raises. Um, and then, I mean, this is back in the, you know, this is five, 10 years ago, but then they finally started syncing it up. So the way they could do is they could take a, uh, a, a fighter jet pilot, put him in a simulator in Nebraska, and then you could hook up to a simulator to somebody here in Travis Air Force Base. So they could fly side by side and practice refueling with each other. Oh. Um, in real time. Oh, interesting. Yeah.
so yeah, I had a chance to go in there and then <laughs> my dad let me attempt to try to refuel. It is really, really hard. <laughs> What's hard about it? Well, planes don't, you know, it's like a car, you know, a car goes left to right. Planes go up and down as well. Right. Yeah. Um, and with instruments, you can switch sides. You haven't already with, uh, with instruments like that. It's, it's, uh, it's very touch based. My dad would do it literally with like one hand because it's so sensitive to movement. So he just, you know, it's just little, little movements he would do to hook up to the boom. Uh, um, for the, yeah. Wait, while you're flying? Yeah, while you're flying, you're, you're refueling in the air. Oh. Yeah. So it's this giant pipe that comes down to the back of a of plane, right? And then there's a fuel, uh, fuel, fuel opening for the plane behind it to basically for the line to go into. So you're trying to hook up. You're basically trying to do this connection is what you're trying to do in air. Oh. Yeah. All right. So that side plank rotation, I think we were doing some oblique crunches last time. So either one's fine. Let's go about 45 seconds aside here. Yeah. I don't, I don't do well with all my weight on one arm because of my strength. Yeah. That's fine, yeah, let's do some oblique crunches. Anyway, my dad's line was always that flying's really easy, it's taking off and landing. Right, yeah. I mean, the one thing of why, you know, they, they continue to have pilots is because situations come up that it's hard for a computer to recognize what to do yeah. differently. But we're getting closer and closer on that one, to, which is scary to think. Yeah. Everything's drones and everything else. Okay, yeah, switch if you haven't already. Yep. Fifteen seconds. Then we'll do that front to back run. In ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do that front to back run. Three to four steps forward, three to four steps back. Twenty seconds. In five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do that. Warrior three. Gonna stretch it out, right leg back. And switch, other side, other leg back.
10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's do that last one, that dumbbell. Hip hinge to curl lower to press. So left leg's on the ground, dumbbell's in the right hand. Ten aside. Nice, and let me know when you hit 10 there, MJ. One more. One more, there we go. Okay, 10. Perfect, all done. Stretch whatever you like. Wait, no, I got the other side still. Oh, you gotta, well, you gotta do the other side then. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, uh, wait a minute. Then you can stretch. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting day tomorrow. Oh, my God, yeah. I'm a, I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Supposedly, Trump's getting on a plane at, like, noon to fly to Florida. Oh, my God, good riddance. We just have to be diligent and... Not giving him airtime from now on. Right? I mean, the fact that, I mean, it should have happened a long time ago. But even yeah. Facebook and Twitter pulled their accounts. Oh, my God, I know. Uh, I agree. You know, don't give him, don't give him any, keep the news away from him. Yeah, because that's what he thrives on, good or bad. Oh, for sure. The attention. <laughs> 